So we may have neighbors coming over too. Maybe. <laughs> have the whole countryside here with both smokers cruising yep. and Chuck secret sauce. Shh. <laughs> Take some pictures of you with yours. That's fine. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> Except my secret sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Just got a whole case of it. <laughs> what can be found at? Okay, doing another really quick check in here. Uh, this is the chicken that I'm doing. Um, I'm not going for pretty chicken today, uh, just going for flavor, texture, and also bite through skin. So I didn't trim them up nearly as much as I usually do at competition. Uh, but what I will do, and you'll see later on, um, these chicken breasts, after they've been marinating all night long, um, I did spread them out. I trimmed off a little bit uh, on some of them, but uh, not a whole lot. Um, and then I sprinkled them with some Mojo Rub Original seasoning, and uh, then I'll roll them a bit, you know, tuck them under, and to put them on the grill and barbecue them. So that's uh, what they look like right now. Before going on the grill, we'll check in with uh, the finished product later on. All right, here's the chicken, ugly as it is right now. This is about uh, oh, halfway through the cooking process. Uh, still have the bath to put it in. The uh, skin, which is, I, I'm hoping, going to be really good bite through. I'm, I don't go for crispy necessarily, just as long as it's bite through. But uh, that's what it looks like so far. Uh, once we get it in the bath and then get a little soft glaze on it towards the end, it'll uh, even out the color a little bit more. And uh, we'll see what it looks like then. All right, since these practice cook-offs are the time to practice some new techniques or new recipes or what have you that's exactly what I'm gonna do I mean hopefully you can see that in the picture these ribs have some really good color already but uh, I'm gonna try something just a little bit different see how they turn out I'm gonna put a little butter on there and uh, a little bit of honey as well just for a little extra sweetness on top and uh, not a whole lot of honey and I'm also going to add just a little bit of, of brown sugar to it as well. And I'm going to wrap these ribs up and stick them back in the smoker to, to uh, get almost all the way finished then. Let's rub it down, rub it in a little bit. Spread the love, spread the goodness around. Whistle. Add a, a nice glaze on the outside of it as well. And wrapping them inside this foil is going to help them steam just a little bit. Not that they're dry, because they're not. These things are not quite done. But uh, they're done enough to eat, but not competition done yet. And I don't want them to fall off the bone, so we have to be careful how long we keep them in there to steam. So there's one rack down. I've got three racks to do, but uh, that's the basic technique, so I'm going to give it a shot, see how it goes. I'm not going to add any other moisture besides what we did right there to them. These are traditional baby back ribs or loin back ribs. Uh, what I've done to them so far is uh, simply marinated, well not really marinated, more of a uh, just let them cure with some mojo rub and uh, a little bit of mustard on it overnight. And they've been on the smoker since about 6 o'clock this morning. It's now uh, 10.20 in the morning so they've been on there for oh four and a half hours or so, almost. And we're not really you know, on a time schedule like we normally would be at a competition here. Uh, there are some people coming over to, to uh, try out the food for us. As I mentioned earlier, a couple of certified barbecue judges will be here, but uh, they'll be coming in after they get out of church. So 
a little bit before noon. Uh, I did my briskets already done and off the smoker and resting. The uh, pork butts slowed down a little bit because I'm cooking a lot more pork than I normally would at a competition. But uh, that's because I have some vending or catering rather coming up pretty soon at the end of this next week. So I thought I'd go ahead and get that knocked out of the way as well. Time wise, the uh, Pork's just a little bit behind, but really not too bad. So I'm happy with it. Boy, all three racks have some really good color on them already. But uh, this is just going to help add a little bit of moisture to it while it uh, gets back in the smoker and wrapped up in the foil. Now, one thing that I'll do, and I don't know if I'll get it on the tape or not, but uh, after these have steamed for a little while, um, I will take them back out of the foil and I will put them back on the smoker just to help firm them up a little bit because I, I don't want them to fall off the bone tender. You know, so many restaurants serve them that way, but in competition cook, cooking, you know, that's really overdone. So we don't want to have them so tender that they're just you know falling apart. We want to be able to get a nice clean bite through on the ribs. When a person bites into them, they should uh, basically leave their teeth marks on the bone, and the bone, the meat pulls away from the bone cleanly, and and uh, have a nice, clean, dry, white bone there left over. So, whew, those are pretty. I like that. Uh, so, just a little bit of doctoring, a little bit of love added to it. We'll uh, seal those up and put those back in the smoker.